Finally. Pistons have won a basketball game. That was probably really loud in your ears. My bad. <laughs> it's all good. I think, uh, <laughs> headphones might have blown just a little bit right there. But, yeah, finally a freaking win. I'm going to collect my wings tomorrow because who won it? God d- d- damn, dude. It feels so good. Like, I – Oh my God, bro. I, I don't even know how to express myself right now. It's only three wins on the season, but damn, the losing streak is finally over. This is amazing. I can't believe it. And it's so fitting that it happened against the Raptors. I hope that is the longest, saddest drive home for all those fans that were here tonight in Detroit. Yeah. The, the crafters as I call them, um, bro, that was a hell of a game too. Like, Cade, obviously, he didn't shoot well from the field, but he got to the line. Uh, that's what I love to see. He didn't shoot it particularly well from the field, but, hey, man, he, he was – I believe he went to the line at least 10 times a night, which that, I told you like a month ago, that's that should be the norm for him, the type of player he is. So, you know, happy with it, his performance from the free throw line. Um, Jalen Duran, Pistons missed him so much, man. And I'm so happy to see him wearing those braces on both ankles. Uh, because every time he falls, I just hold my brother I'm like, oh, God, please get up, please get up, please get up. But, dude, I'm so happy that this monkey is off the Detroit Pistons back. I'm so happy that I don't have to log on the social media to see uh, a cringy post about uh, the Pistons having won a game. Or It seems like people have just been poking fun at the bear for two months. It's finally over. Thank God. I was – it almost happened against the Celtics, but they blew the 19-point lead. That was – probably one of the better games the piss even though it ended in a loss but that was still a fun game but damn dude this was i said that three times already this was a heck of a game Cade 30 points 12 assists 10 for 10 from the free throw line during 18 and 17 and he went six for six from the free throw line kevin knox had one of the i could not stop tweeting about him Kevin Knox just played phenomenal. 7 of 14, 3 for 8 from the three-point line. 17 points, two rebounds, two assists, a steal, and one big fucking block, dude. I didn't even know he could do that. And holy crap, dude. And then Boyan, he did his thing too. Jaden Ivey did a bunch of stuff that won't end up on the box score. He got to the line 12 times. It was funny too. One of the Canadian, I keep, I don't know why I just said Canadian broadcasters. One of the Toronto Raptors broadcasters was like, Jaden Ivey hasn't uh, hit a free throw all night. And he was like four for seven at the time. And he kept calling Duran Doran. And then Alec Burks found a shooting stroke. He only missed two shots all night. It was just, just an incredible performance all around by them. I will say the only negative, Killian Hayes, dude, had too many turnovers. It was scaring me a little bit. My heart was just beating out of rhythm every time he was on the floor. I just – I don't understand why he keeps playing over Sasser. But I'm not going to be too negative because it is a W, and we finally ended the losing streak. Yeah, every time I was listening to the Raptors announcers, it was just like it's a Canadian with a really bad New York accent. Yes. It was just like, we'll be right back after the first quarter. I was just like, dude, shut up. <laughs> you could, it was like Pascal Siakam. I was like, it's Siakam, dude. Jesus, like, can you enunciate? <laughs> Uh, but I am really happy that the Pistons did win. Even happier that the Raptors broadcast had to, you know, announce that game. Like, they, they kept thinking the Raptors were going to come back and win. Pistons finally won. Thank God. Um, for whatever reason, the, the streaming site that I watch never has the Pistons broadcast. But I heard, uh, I think it was Johnny Kane and Greg Kelser okay. tonight. So, I'm sure, you know, Pistons fans were... Definitely lit tonight after the game. Um, seems like there were more Pistons fans there tonight, too, than Raptors fans, which was good to see. Like, the the camera, like, I felt so bad. Like, you could tell this kid was, like, special needs, and they kept putting the camera on him. It, I'll see. I was like, come on. he's a Ra- He was a Raptors fan on top of it. I was like, come on, don't do that. Like, this, you know, there, there's, there was at least, like, 20, 20 to 40 Raptors fans in that section, and they put it on the kid that's, like, you know, special needs. I was like, come on, dude. That's fucked up. <laughs> I I don't even I'm not even gonna make a comment. That's just crazy to me. But um, yeah, the Toronto Raptors broadcaster. I don't know if you know this name, but he sounded like the ESPN boxer analysis, Freddie Roach. That's what I thought. Who I was listening to the entire time. I was like, this is kind of crazy. Nice little crossover. Sports don't make sense, but hey, we're getting Freddie Roach on the broadcast. So 
we're getting into this right now. The Detroit Pistons did break the all-time losing streak held by the process Sixers. The losing streak is the worst it will ever get for the Detroit Pistons. I mean, I know we're experience, we're coming off the high of a W. There are better times ahead of us. It's a long tunnel. The light is at the end of it. And we will, I, I do strongly believe this, we will experience a couple more losing seasons before we actually see winning basketball in Detroit. And I'm talking like not just a winning streak, but – a winning season. It will be a couple more years before we actually see a winning season in Detroit, but we need to celebrate this W big time and just, you know, not let the losing streak, you know, just take us off this high too quickly. Hey man, playoff push. Let's go. Yeah, let's do it. (laughs) 